Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to install this little apparatus that goes into the oil dipstick of a 914 or a 76 912E motor and it's a early warning um, overheating contraption. Um, as you know I live out here in Phoenix, Arizona where in the summer times the temps can get to like a hundred and twenty plus degrees and driving an air-cooled motor around, especially on some of the mountains, because we like to go up north, can be a stress on the engine. And the 76 912E 2 liter Type 4 motor I have in my 67 912 is not compatible with the uh, temp gauge in the car. So I need to have something to tell me if my temperature is getting a little too hot. And that's what this thing is. And I will, uh, we're gonna closer view of that here in a little bit. But nonetheless, let's, uh, let's jump in the car and um, let's install this bad boy and see how it works out for us. So, uh, oh, and by the way, if this is your first time watching the channel, we are all about Porsches, whether it be the classic air-cooled or the new water pumpers, the uh, Boxers, 996s, Cayennes and stuff. But today it's about the air-cooled ones. So if you are a VW Porsche guy, air-cooled, Hit that subscribe button down below. And um, if you have a chance, in the link below as well, check out the t-shirt. See if I can show you a shirt here. And it's not gonna show me. I'm working with a new DJI Osmosis Mobile 3 something. I don't know what the heck it is, but apparently it's supposed to help me with my video. So I'm giving that a try real quick. So nonetheless, t-shirt link in the bottom helps support the channel. Uh, we're marching to that thousand subscriber mark. We're less than a hundred away. So uh, hit the subscribe button. And why am I talking? Let's go put this thing in. Shit, let's go. All right, so this thing here, I'm going to see if I can't get you to kind of focus in on this thing and see what it is here. Hopefully you can see it. It's it's a simple design. And what happens is this goes into the car and as your temperature gets up there, this thing starts to move. It's like a little copper attachment. And as it gets close to hitting that screw head, it will start to put the idiot light on your dashboard to flash in. And then if it does touch the screw head, the light will come on solid. But until then, you're fine until you get up to about right there. The instructions, super easy. Um, there's instructions on this bad boy. Can I give you an idea there? Uh, there it is right there. So it says, if I remember correctly, that... Uh, when your oil temperature reaches 225, this thing will start to flicker your light on your dashboard. And when it hits 240, that's when you need to pull your happy little butt over and let your uh, engine cool off. So let me, uh, let me show you how easy it is to install one of these. They're like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, I'll put a link down below. Uh, not affiliated and I'm not getting a kickback or anything like that. Just a cool product that I found and it works. Um, this one is for a type four, so 914, 912E guys. You can pop this into your engine, your type four. Um, they make a type one bug dipstick uh, device, but I'm not sure if it's compatible with the uh, Porsche 356 or early 912 616 motor. I know a lot of people when looking at those motors, they ah, it's just a Type 1. And no. So let's, uh, let's get back there and let's see how we got to install this. Let's go. All right, here we go. We'll get in the back there. All right, here we go. All right, guys. So here's the dipstick in a Type 4 motor right there in the front. We're just gonna pull it out. Up it comes. Check the oil level real quick. Uh, yep, it's good. So here is our adapter. And you can see it's kind of like the same as the uh, dipstick. Let me grab that for us. Kind of get an idea there. 
So it's pretty much about the same length, I would say. Maybe it's a little shorter. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter, but uh, that's okay. So I think this nib here lines it up to where it's pretty close. Yep, all right, perfect. So the instructions say you pull this out, don't throw it away. You're gonna need this to check your oil down the road, but put in the glove box, whatever. Got that taken care of. Then you just simply take it, put it in the hole, shove it down in there, right? And then the wire, it's a pretty big wire here. So it comes with this little wire adapter. So you're gonna unplug the wire that goes into your idiot light switch. Remember, we replaced that uh, last week. So you unplug that green wire, you plug it on top of this, then both of those wires with this Y adapter plug into that um, sensor that's right behind the Dizzy, the distributor. And that's how this all works. That's all there is to it, guys. You, you plug it in and you're good. And the way it works is, let me see if I can show you this again. So right now, the engine is solid, it's cold. And the ambient air here in Arizona right now is about 108 degrees. And so you can kind of just see it's at, you know, noon, I guess, if you would say. And as the temperature heats up, it just starts to move and move and move and move. And then right before it touches, your light will start to flicker. Then when it does touch, that light's gonna come on on your dashboard. That's how this thing works. So pretty freaking sweet and easy. So uh, I'm gonna plug this in over there next to the um, distributor where the idiot light is and plug the idiot light into here and then this into there. And uh, let's fire it up and see how this thing works. Guys, t-shirt, I drive nine shirts, link below. So I've had a few people say they wanna hear my type four in my 912 startup on a cold, cold start. So let's take the camera, let's sit it down with a tailpipe, and let me show you a cold start from a two liter Type 4 from a 1976 912E in my 1967 912. Let's take it down there. Pump the gas a few times. warm up and we'll see. You can already see it's moving a little. Let's see how far it goes to get that little up in there. So it's been idling for about a good 20 minutes. And as you can see right there, it's only about halfway from where we first started and about halfway to where it can get to that screw. So I think it's doing pretty good. My motor's doing well and I'm kind of happy that it's there. And uh, hopefully it will take care of us down the road. All right, guys, this wraps up our video on replacing the dipstick in your Type 4 motor with the uh, Save My Bug unit that will uh, help with the idiot dash light. Let you know if your engine's running a little too hot. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you have a Type 4 914 or a 912E, or you're just into Porsches and want to see more on how I dropped in a VW Type 4 motor in my classic 1967 Porsche 912, then hit that subscribe button. And um, this video right here, man, you might like it. So you should probably uh, watch it after you're uh, finished with this one. Thanks guys so much. Subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.